Well guys, I've just dug my target over there. Now we're coming over, Lisa's got to find, I have no idea what it is yet, but she won't show me until I bring the camera out, so. Oh, she got England a cricket. England and Australia. A cricket buckle. And it's complete little bit of a dent, that's perfectly fine. I don't know oh. what it would have had on the back, but that's mint. Okay, well you beat me to <laughs> Okay guys, well, spent a lot of time very, very, very carefully cleaning this buckle. Um, toothbrush, as per usual, a uh, warm, soapy water, and very gently carefully. This thing's pretty fragile. Now, we may have something extremely special here. It's 1890, and apparently it's one that no one's ever seen before. There's one very similar, but this one make, is different because of the curtains around the outside. Now it's never been seen before as I was just saying and it is very 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 collectible. England and Australia 1890. Now I'm still looking into it but this could be the first year of the ashes. If not it's very 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 early ashes if not before the ashes. So we're still looking into that. Highly collectible in very rough shape but it is what it is. It's all complete. It's just got a bit of um, it's been through the wars literally. So, and it survived. So we've got ourselves the captains in all their attire. Cricket, England and Australia. I'm very jealous of this find, Lisa. Um, this is up there with the gold sovereign in collector's eyes. So, hope you enjoyed that video and uh, we'll get back out there and we're going to re-detect this same area which there's going to be more targets there we haven't dug yet so stay tuned like and subscribe and you will see some more cool stuff guarantee you